Good morning, John. Surprise! It's me! I'm here on the channel. I thought I was getting a colonoscopy today, but it turns out that I'm not. You'd think that's something I would know. I scheduled one and then I started a new medicine and then they wanted to push it back, but then I didn't take it off my schedule, so I have one in May. It's fine. You don't need to know. But that means I had a whole extra day, which is great because I have a lot to do. Working on a presentation about titles and thumbnails, thinking about redesigning my office. I got a couple of updates I need to send out to the community here. Project for Awesome is coming. I think I might have like a mild existential crisis about halfway through the day. And I need to get lunch at some point. I might just make a sandwich. First, the subscriptions system that we use to run the Awesome Socks Club and coffee and also pizza and stuff. They had a weird glitch. So it may have sent you an email that you're going to get skipped for this month. You won't. Uh, we're working on a fix. Uh, sorry, that shouldn't happen again. As a man once said, still some glitches to work out. And I really am grateful because people are so understanding when stuff like this happens. So thanks for that. I'm so excited about how well those things have done. We've got, you know, thousands of people getting coffee every month and tens of thousands of people getting socks every month. It makes me think a lot about what's possible. And thinking a lot about what's possible these days often requires me to think about what is impossible, which is me doing more stuff. Which is a shame because I very much love to do more stuff. I'm sure that's something no one's ever noticed about me. Also, the Project for Awesome is approaching rapidly, February 17th, and video submissions are open. We used to do it, everybody would upload the video on the same day. YouTube doesn't really care about that anymore, so you can upload it beforehand, get it into our system, and then we can review the videos and pick out ones that we might want to feature during the Project for Awesome live stream. So if you want to make your Project for Awesome video, do that, and then submit it at projectforawesome.com. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the Project for Awesome is a yearly 48-hour live stream that John and I and friends have been doing since 2000. 2007. We raise money. We send people things in exchange for that money, both physical and digital things. There's a whole campaign that will be live during the live stream. During the first half, we raise money for Save the Children and Partners in Health. And during the second half, we raise money for organizations voted on by the community. And we decide that by watching videos that people make talking about the great work that organizations they care about do in their community and in the world. So if you want to make a video supporting your favorite charity, you can do that. It doesn't have to be more than a minute long. Tell us about the problem that organization is interfacing with, why it's a big deal, and how they're trying to solve that problem. That's, that's the basic format of most YouTube videos about anything. What is the problem? Why is it important? What should we do about it? That's so much of what humans do, and it's a good format. There's a reason why we do things that way. I don't know which of the things that I do is the most important one, or even which one I enjoy the most. So that's like a weird thing for a bunch of chemical reactions to think. I'm also going to be doing the Nerdfighteria census fairly soon, so if you haven't filled out the survey, there's a link in the description to do that, so that we can get more data about how people are feeling about Nerdfighteria. It's good to get a broad base of information from all across this community. So that's in the description as well. And what else is going on? Catherine and I have been having a good old time with Delete This lately. We kind of fell into a new format called Wet or Dry, uh, where we talk about one wet thing and one dry thing and then try and figure out which of the things is better. It sounds like a terrible idea for a podcast, but it's maybe my best idea for a podcast ever. It's very fun and it's been very silly. Uh, it maybe is not for kids, though, just FYI. I mostly mentioned that so all the babies out there know how cool they are for listening. And hydrogen! Isn't it interesting that there is an element where if you take away the electron, it's just a proton? It's still hydrogen! That's how it works! Elements are defined by the number of protons they have, and hydrogen has one proton. So if there is just one proton, it's hydrogen! That's cool. I don't know why. It takes me out of the frame a little bit. Additional thing to share, Hank's channel got one of these. So that, see, that's you right there. You see yourself? That's you. That's what you look like to me. That's not how I think of you. Anyway, I have no idea which of the things that I just said is going to fit in this video. Definitely not all of it. That's for sure. John, I'll see you on Tuesday.